I'm gonna give you my top five best all-court tennis shoes for clay, starting right here in winter 2021. Hey, what is up everybody? It's Zach, Tennis Pro Doc, helping you improve your game and gear with science. And if you're like me, you don't always wanna to have to wear two different pairs of shoes, one for clay and one for hard. Because face it, a lot of places we play at, there are an equal amount of clay courts and hard courts, and you're splitting your time on both. And also, in a lot of markets, they don't make your favorite shoe in a clay model. Because let's face it, the best clay court shoe for you is just your favorite shoe in a clay model. So what I wanna do is get the best all court shoes that are really found just about everywhere that you can play equally as well on hard and clay. Here we go. All right, at number five, this shoe kind of snuck up on me because at first I didn't really think it would be very good for clay. However, it's the Adidas Uber Sonic 4. Now the reason I like this shoe for clay the more and more I've played on it is this variable angle herringbone. So you got the flat herringbone on the inside and then the chunky on the outside and then opposite on the heel. Now when I first played with this on hard courts, I thought this is gonna wanna slip and slide a little bit on clay. However, it doesn't. It actually grips really well, but also allows really controlled sliding. Now also, if you watch the Adidas Uber Sonic 4 play test, you'll know this shoe is pretty low to the ground in the forefoot. And on hard courts, I think that can kind of bottom out for some players. However, on clay with a softer surface, it really works because your feet can really feel the clay surface and you get a lot better of that tactile sensation. And so for that, I really do like the Adidas Uber Sonic 4 for clay a lot more than I thought I was going to. All right, coming in at number four, it is a tie between Nike Air Zoom Vapor 10 and the Nike Air Zoom Vapor Pro, it's update. Now the reason both of these is because it has the exact same outsole pattern, that aggro crag pattern that goes all the way from heel to toe. It's that one piece pattern. Now the reason I like the aggro crag pattern so much is it'll grip everything, hard, grass, clay, or carpet. No matter what surface you're playing on, you're gonna get something you like in these shoes. The reason that it's so good is it's also variable angle, but number two, it also just has these spikes in strategic places, so it'll really dig in. Now these shoes are really light too. So you can also really move on the court and really feel pretty speedy, but when you have to stop and move, they will move. But also when you have to go into a slide, they will allow that sliding because of that really long shank. It allows a little more flexing of the foot and just getting a little lower. So your slide is a little bit more controlled. Now these shoes do have some issues with them, of course, but I think with a combination of the weight of the shoe, the great treads on them, the flex and that low to the ground feeling, these do make a really great clay court tennis shoe. Coming in at number three, the shoe shows up on a lot of my best shoes list is the Asics Court FF2. But the reason I like it for an all court shoe for clay is that wave pattern on the tread. It is really durable, really chunky, so it's gonna dig into the clay, but also give you good traction on a hard court. But I think the biggest reason is all this outsole tread that comes up over the medial side of the shoe. So when you're doing the splits, or if you're on really slick clay and maybe you're sliding, or you're on one foot and you just need that little bit of a grip, you have all this outsole tread here that can kind of push you back up, or just give you that little moment of stability or moment of grip to get you back up to the other direction. Now this shoe also has a really wide heel, so this will also give you a lot of good traction, especially on slippery clay or maybe the clay's getting a little dry. This will really help you out. Also, the upper is made of all polyurethane, so if it's really wet clay or you're playing in a little more humid or hot, maybe damp conditions, this will kind of stop your socks from getting really wet and soggy and just kind of protect the shoe from the clay. So all around, great shoe for clay. All right, at number two, this is also a tie between Adidas Soul Match Bounce and Adidas Soul Court Boost. Now they're both at number two because of the tread pattern. It is a really chunky, deep herringbone, which also has a good durability profile for hard courts, but with that really big tread depth on them, they're gonna grip just about any kind of clay, either if it's dry or really well maintained, if it's hard true or true red clay. Now the reason I like them a little bit more than the Court FF2 is just how deep the tread pattern goes. So it's just gonna grip a little bit better. Number two, it's got the huge wide lateral flange. It's gonna give you so much stability on a slicker court, but also the wide heel as well, which is gonna give you even more stability, kind of like the Court FF2 with that bigger tread profile. Now it also has the grip right on the inside, just like the A6 Court FF2, except it spans all the way from the toe box all the way back almost to the midfoot. So that grip you're gonna get is gonna be just awesome if you're doing the splits or if you're sliding or if you're on one foot or a little bit off balance. Now I will say, if you like more of a bouncy shoe, no pun intended, go with the Soul Match Bounce. If you want more cushion, go with the Soul Court Boost. But suffice it to say, they're both right here at the number two slot. And coming in at number one, one of the most rugged shoes out there, 
Yonex Power Cushion Eclipsian 3. This shoe just has a tremendous outsole pattern for clay. You got this chunky herringbone on the lateral side going into the heel, which will really dig into even slick clay. And you also have this little flatter herringbone here under the big toe joint, which will allow a lot of controlled sliding on that clay as well. What I think sets this shoe apart from all the rest is this outrigger heel counter. This just gives such rigid support to your ankle that when you are sliding on slick clay, if you're on one foot, if you're getting down really low, you're doing the splits, this shoe just gives you so much confidence that that shoe will allow you to get up and propulse for the next shot. It's not gonna bend or fold. It will stay rigid and it will stay stable enough for you to move the other direction or change directions really quick without rolling over in the shoe. Now, this shoe also has a lot of other features that I really like for clay. Number one, the outsole tread coming up over the toe box. Number two, all polyurethane upper. Number three, it's got the metal eyelet stays. So when you really wanna cinch this shoe down and really get secure, you can for clay. Now this does this while maintaining a more light profile than the Soul Court Boost. And it's got a three piece tongue versus the slipper tongue here of the Court FF2. The reason I like that is, is on clay with a slipper tongue, you can just get a little bit more movement in the shoe. Now the Court FF2 does this pretty well and it kind of makes up for it here with the little outrigger polyurethane. But I I just think in the Power Cushion Eclipse in 3, you just get that little bit more support, that little bit more security from their design. That's why I like it so much. However, this shoe is just a tad on the narrow side. So if you are wider, make sure you do up that half size or they do make this in a wide version. So that's available in your market. Make sure you go for that if you have a wide foot. All right, just some honorable mentions. These shoes have good playing characteristics for clay, but just some issues with them that didn't get them in the top five. So number one, New Balance 696 and 996 V4. Now the reason I like these for clay is they are really light. They're really inexpensive. They got a really wide flange for good stability and they have a wave pattern. The reason I don't like them over these shoes is that wave is just a little bit thinner, not as deep of a tread profile as some others. So if the clay is well-maintained, these shoes are gonna grip really well. If it's really slick, you're gonna have some issues. Next is the Joma T Ace Pro. Same reason, great wave pattern, nice wide lateral flange. The tread depth just isn't there. So if the clay is well maintained, great. If not, you might get a little bit of slipping, but overall really good polyurethane upper. And if the clay's good, then these are gonna be good. And a shoe that's near and dear to my heart, Adidas Stycon BOA. Not the original Stycon, but the BOA version. The reason I love this shoe for clay, number one, chunky herringbone, wide heel, a lot of stability, high top shoe, a ton of ankle support. The reason I don't like it is because it is so heavy. So if you're someone that really likes a lighter shoe, you are not gonna like this. But one of the reasons I like it on clay is because you do have a lot more time to set up for your shots. So this shoe will work better on clay than it does on hard. And if you want something with a high top, I really think Stycon BOA Way is one of the best shoes out there for that. And lastly, the K-Swiss Hyper Court Express. Now there is an update to this shoe. However, I actually like just the Hyper Court Express a lot as well. Number one, because of the wide heel. Number two, the uppers are super breathable, unlike some of the other K-Swiss shoes out there, but also just the tread pattern. Number one, the heel is really wide, a lot of really good stability on clay. Number two, it's got this little variable herringbone in the middle. The one thing I don't like about it is, it is capped over here, so you're gonna get some little more flatter herringbone, so if the clay is not as good, once again, it's it's gonna slide a little bit. However, for really well-maintained clay, these are gonna be really nice. Also, pretty inexpensive. Right now, you can get these for under $75, and they'll be good on hard and clay. Nice, breathable shoe for a good price. All right, am I wrong? Let me know down in the comments below, and also let me know your top five all-court shoes for clay. Otherwise, hope you all have a great day, great night, wherever in the world you are tuning in from. I'll see you in the next video.